Looking for a sort today's retro bat and N64 DD setup guide. If you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content. That just means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide. Plus, it helps my channel out a lot. So if you've been following my channel for a long time, you know i got a long history of retro bat setup guides. Around 130 in my retro bat playlist, which some of you don't know that I've got. So if there is a retro bat setup guide you're looking for look in my retro bat playlist it's quite likely i've already done it so nintendo 64 we got an add-on for the actual console and this was the n64 dd we've got some games here and what we're going to do is get you up and running with this today so in the bios folder just here i've got three bios files we got ipl underscore dev dot n64 ipl underscore jap dot n64 and ipl underscore usa dot n64 so what i'm going to do is just copy these three bios files go into my retro bat directory so right click on the shortcut open file location which is the easiest way to do this i'm going to go into my bios folder and in here i'm going to just scroll down until i find mupon 64 plus and in here, I'm going to paste those three BIOS files just like this. Next thing we're going to need to do is take a look at the game structure. So I've got F0X for this, and this is a Japanese version. So what I'm going to do is just extract this game. We can't use these in zip folders. So we're going to just take the .n64 out of the zip folder here. And if we just delete that to get rid of it. And we also need a separate file, which is for the NDD, which is the expansion kit. So we've got F0X, which is the game, and we've got F0X, which is the other part, which is the expansion kit. Now, the expansion kit for these games need to be renamed. As we can see just there, the extension is .NDD. What we actually need to do is rename it. So if you right-click on the expansion part, show more options rename and just here what i'm going to do is just put a dot n64 just here so it reads dot n64 dot ndd and if i just save that so that file is now complete okay we also need to rename the actual game file itself so if i right click on this show more options rename now it's going to read f0x and i'm going to type in hyphen expansion kit so we now got both of these files and these are ready to put into the roms folder and we're not going to use the n64 folder we're actually going to use a folder here which is n64 dd if i drag both of these files inside of that roms n64 dd folder and that's it so i'm going to open up retrobat now And here we go, so we should now see N64DD appear. What I'm going to just do is go inside here. Here's my two files. So one of these is the game, and the other one we don't need to open. So the one to open the game, to use the expansion for that game, is the first one just here. What I'm going to do first is scrape some artwork. So main menu, scraper, and I'm just going to go down and scrape now. And game settings, update game list, yes. And here we go. So we got some artwork. Next thing I need to do is just make sure that this is going to be running from Moopin64. So I press select button on my controller, which brings up your options. 
advanced system options and just here under emulator i'm going to put this to auto so this one is going to read straight from the next option down which retrobat does which is mupin 64. So I'm going to open up the game itself and remember it's the one for F-Zero X, in this case it's on the left hand side. And we're going to see the emulator Mupin64 is not installed, so we're going to press yes to install. And that's it for today's Retrobat and N64 Double D setup, guys. So, like I say, it's just a case of getting two of the same files. So, remember, the 64DD was Japanese. So, you're going to need to use Japanese files for this. And just make sure that you rename them accordingly. So, we got N64 plus N64DD. Just go back and check the video again if you get confused with that. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe, and like so you don't miss out on the upcoming retro emulation content also join me on social media i'm on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok but until next time stay retro